Just like with a recent video in Canada, I gotta have my Cheerios in the morning and so I'm off to a 24 hour grocery store to get milk. This time though, unfortunately not Metro, I'm going to trial. And speaking of the video in Canada, I still have a lot more videos from Canada to edit and put up, but those take a lot of editing. Those are big jobs and during VEDA I don't have time for big jobs. I can only do smaller jobs, videos I can whip out a lot quicker than the big editing jobs that some of those Canada videos really are going to be. But that's not what I want to talk to you about today. Earlier today, I was at a different mall, not trial. I went down to the Olmuta Mall in uh, the Olmuta Aeon Mall. If you remember, I did a video about the opening of the Olmuta Aeon Mall, and we were down there today doing some shopping and having lunch. We ate at Subway. And eating there today, I came to a realization. Subway in Japan just is not as good as Subway in Canada. When we were in Niagara Falls, we went for supper in Subway one night. That's less than two weeks ago. So this is the closest together I have ever eaten at both Subway in Canada and then Subway in Japan. And less than two weeks of eating at both and I can make a direct comparison. The bread in Canada is better. The selection in Canada is better. The selection of meats and sauces. Well, I mean, you've got good meats and sauces here too, but you don't have the same level of selection. But one of the big things is the pricing. I mean, in Canada, okay, for example, let's take a theoretical Subway sandwich. Say a six inch sub is $4. If you are the 12 inch sub, it's like $6 or six and a quarter. But in Japan, if you have this theoretical sub that's six inches, 400 yen. If you order the 12 inch, it's 800 yen. It is double the price and it is that way for every single sandwich. So there's no point in ever ordering a 12 inch sandwich in Japan. You might as well just order two six inches of different kinds so you get some variety, you know, if you're that hungry. I love Subway, I love Subway here in Japan, I love it in Canada more. I just wish Subway in Japan would uh, send a few people over to Canada just to learn how they do it there and adapt or adopt, not adapt, adopt some of the practices in Canada like pricing and uh, more varied menu. Even Kumiko agrees. She said the bread was better in Canada and the selection was better in Canada. So I think we've just got to, you know, take a big cargo helicopter, fly over to Canada or America, throw down a few lines, pick up the store and move it wholesale here to Japan. And there is no way in hell that will ever work. <laughs> I don't know why I even said it. So until I get the chance to come back to Canada and enjoy a really good Subway sandwich 12 inch, you know, I'll just have to make do with what we got here in Japan. You know, it's not bad. It is not bad. It is good. It is very good. It's just not as good. Excuse the balancing, but I'm driving to the store, as you know. And so since I'm driving, I cannot beam out today. Well, I could, but then the car would crash and I'd have to replace the car. Bad idea. Oh, yeah.